You may recently have been in a classroom or flicking through TV channels or browsing YouTube when you've come across a video or audio recording in which you learned something. This may have been intentional if you are looking for information on a specific topic or accidental when the media just looked interesting and fun and you watched it and still walked away from your screen with new knowledge to call your own. This type of media is known as edutainment. Edutainment is a portmanteau neologism that broadly refers to media designed to educate through entertainment. The word edutainment is new, having been coined by National Geographic producer Robert Heyman in 1973, but the use of edutainment goes all the way back to the Renaissance and Enlightenment movements in Europe. In those days, poetry, art, plays, and calendars were used to teach morals and social values to the public and were often funded by the church. Other ways of sharing ideas, such as storytelling, dancing, and listening to elders, have also been considered as forms of historical edutainment. It's pretty unlikely that you or I have experienced edutainment in those forms, though. The 20th century and the new technologies that came with it shifted edutainment to become a tool used by governments, corporations, academia, and schools to spread information to target audiences or to the general public. So, rather than art or plays, we're probably going to experience edutainment in our daily lives through things like video, films, television, websites, radio, podcasts, toys, music, and even video games. But, let's go back a few steps. As early as the 1920s, video and radio media began being widely used by governments or corporations to address health and social issues in the form of public service announcements. Think information on how to build your own bomb shelter at home. From the 1960s, a few people put forward the idea that television could be used to help make education accessible to every child in every household. Soon, television was being used to broadcast cartoons or intentionally educational shows like Sesame Street, Dora the Explorer, and Bill Nye the Science Guy. Other shows were also accidentally educational like learning about society from sitcoms, or information about the world around us through the news or documentaries on channels like National Geographic. This soon evolved into educational media that was specifically made for classroom environments, either as support for the teacher or as an entire lesson on its own. Into the 21st century, there has been a development of students as creators of educational media themselves through project-based learning tasks, where students use tools like PowerPoint or coding to show what they've learned. Over the last few years, we've even gotten to the point where technologies replace the classroom entirely, such as cases of distance learning programs which often rely on video edutainment as a part of their curriculum and teaching. There is a whole new direction in edutainment, though, that feels shiny and new and better than ever before. YouTube. There are quite a few channels on YouTube dedicated to producing high-quality, well-researched and self-funded videos that engage with a variety of subjects and special interest areas. This means that YouTube channels can be dedicated to school or university curriculums, tackle social issues, teach us science, fuel our special interests, or enrich us through arts and culture, and so much more. It's so exciting to see the fantastic media coming from this new branch of edutainment, and I, for one, can't wait to see where edutainment goes next. Hey everyone, it was really fun being able to make a stop motion video and talk about something that I love. This is an artifact that will be added to the UBC MAT Design Wiki, alongside other wealths of information available. I didn't get to talk about the benefits and criticisms of edutainment in this video, so I will release a follow-up video about that next week. More information can be found via links in the description below. Bye!